Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my little space online. In this video, I want to talk to you about my first impressions on the new film stock, the Lomography Lomochrome Color 92 Sunkist Edition. Sometime last summer, Lomography got in touch with me to test a role of one of their new film offerings, and I was like, hell yeah. So they sent me a role, full disclosure, um, of the Lomography Lomochrome Color 92 Sunkist Edition. And I brought it with me to a trip to Italy, which I will be showing in this video. If you're an avid film photography enthusiast like I am, which I assume you are, because if you're not, then why are you here? Like, don't get me wrong, I love that you're here, but also... <laughs> Send me a DM. Anyways, in 2023, you might have seen the release of Lomography's Lomochrome Color 92, which Lomography markets as having a retro charm and classic analog look. And I'll have to agree, I've shot that film quite a few times already and even got a spot at Lomography's pop-up exhibit for it last year, and I found it to have quite the blue undertone as you can see from these images that I took. I think it's great for urban scapes and compositions that has lots of blues in it. So this year, Lomography released another version of that film, the Lomography Lomochrome Color 92 Sunkist Edition. It still has the signature retro analog look, but now it's more nostalgic with warm tones. According to their website, Lomography claims that this will give your photos an enchanting 90s golden hour glow and immerse yourself in nostalgia. It's a 400 ISO speed color film that is processed in C41 chemistry and is available in 35mm, 120 medium format, and 110 format film. Lomography sent me a roll in 35mm, so that's gonna be the one that I'll be showing in this video. And while Lomography did send me this roll for free, they don't have any editorial say over what content I make, so whatever I say in this video is just my real personal experience with using the film. Also, I'll just be using my results to show you what is possible with this film. So, did it give my photos that 90s golden hour glow? How about you decide?
Alrighty, I hope you liked that short video I made. If you're curious, I shot those clips with my Fujifilm X106 uh, with a recipe based on nostalgic negative. I also took a lot more digital photos, so if you're curious to see those, then follow me on Instagram, at Bonsies, and I post a lot more in there. Anyways, I actually really like the results that I got using this film. For reference, I shot those photos that I've shown at ISO 200 using my current favorite point-and-shoot camera, the Fujifilm Class S. I definitely agree with what Lomography's marketing says that this film does have a nostalgic vibe to it. I think it's the green structure and the soft pastel tones, which I think are quite different from what other film stocks like Kodak Portra offers. Uh, sure, you can edit any image to look like this, but this will give you that look right off the bat. Compared to the regular Lomochrome Color 92, the blues in this Sunkist edition are more muted, but the warmer colors like the reds and oranges still pack a punch. And I really think that this made some of my photos look like they were professionally color graded. I recently watched Luca Guadagnino's new film, Queer, at the Toronto International Film Festival, and I must say that some of the shots that I took with this film remind me of the color grade in that film. So dare I say that this film can get you that cinematic look? <laughs> I feel like that term doesn't really have any real meaning nowadays. Also, if you aren't familiar with who Luca Guadagnino is, Maybe you've heard of Call Me By Your Name? Go see it if you haven't, like even just for the aesthetic. Also, I really enjoyed Queer, so go see that too. Uh, <laughs> I am spreading the queer agenda in this channel. Alright, back to the film. Um, one thing I would say is that this film shines <laughs> in bright sunny conditions. Uh, yeah, so give it a lot of light. I actually bought a few rolls of this film with my own hard-earned money as well and shot a roll in Florence, Italy. And here is an example of what the film looks like in overcast, cloudy conditions. As you can see, it definitely looks more muted but still has a warm feel to it. It also gets easily underexposed in some high contrast scenes, but that could also be because of how my point-and-shoot meters. It's almost like you have to treat this film like slide film, where the dynamic range isn't as forgiving. But I also took photos of this amazing sunset using this film, so it can work for low light situations as well. For comparison, this is what the sunset looks like on digital. If you want to capture the vibrant blues at blue hour, this is probably not the film to go to though, but it's still a vibe. I mean, you can also just edit your photos and just ump up the saturation or vibrance in post-processing. Like, I am not here to tell you what you can or can't do in your art process. I'd say use whatever tool or process that you need in order to make your artistic vision come true. Okay, I am yapping. As a final thought, there are some speculations online that this film is just a repackaged original Wolfen or Orwo NC500, and I've shot that film before, although I shot that film at ISO 500 because I'm dumb and I thought that the 500 in its name means that it's ISO 500, but that's another story for another day. I must say that they are quite similar, so maybe there's some truth to that speculation. Either way, using both films could probably get you the same results. But hey, the Lomography film comes in different formats, so spend your money however you want. Between the original Lomochrome Color 92 and the Sunkist Edition, however, I think I prefer the Sunkist Edition more, so I will be keeping a stash of it in my film fridge. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. Before I leave, I'd like to give a shout out to Lomography for supporting my small channel by sending me goodies to try out. Please send me more. Um, also, the Lomochrome Color 92 photos that I showed in this video were all developed and scanned by Grey Nation here in Toronto. So shout out to them as well. And if you're still here, which chances are nobody probably is, um, but leave a sparkle comment down below so I know that you watched till the end. Alright, I'll see you all again in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>